Since 2014, our country has been plagued by divisive forces. TMC is in Meghalaya with the mission to empower the people, uphold the ethnic cultures and traditions, celebrate the sacred land. To oust the proxy BJP government from Meghalaya, be the change, support TMC by calling on 96877-96877. The Meghalaya Legislative Assembly's Committee for Women's Empowerment emphasized the importance of government oversight in hostel housing young children. The statement from Amprin Lingdo on 8th of August 2022 came in light of the recent rescue of six youngsters from the Tura farmhouse of State BJP Vice President Bernard Marag. She stated the Meghalaya government should emphasize that hostels hosting Adolescents under the age of 18 required official approval. They need to be properly monitored and have access to spot inspections and, and registration facilities. Secretary Social Welfare, including Director, Joint Director, CDPOs and other Social Welfare District officials. Uh, we as a committee for thought it very disturbing to know that in the case of the murder of late Shrimati Siang Shan in Chante, East Janti Hills, she has left behind 10 children, out of which 8 of the children were found to be minors. We were concerned because we thought that it would be necessary to ensure that these children were taken care of by the government through the social welfare department and we have been given an assurance that a two-year-old who was a child of the deceased will be taken care of her eldest sister who is 23 years old who happens to also be married uh, three of the children aged 6, 8, 11 and 30, four of the children. The uh, government will be now taking care the, of these children into institutional homes or the children home. And uh, the government will ensure that these children continue to receive education and are taken care of in their custody till they attain the age of 18. There was an elder boy who is 18 years old who is also still under the care of his mother will now be sent for further vocational training in hair, cut, cut, hair styling and cutting. Two of the children who are 16 and 14 year old, one male, one female, will receive a sponsorship from the government to the Department of Social Welfare to ensure that these children continue to be in schools and to ensure that these children do not further face trauma in their lives. In the case of the murder of another young woman, Srimati Gracia Bare, it was decided that Shumati Meera Bare, the grandmother, will take care of the 8-year-old and 12-year-old sons of late Shumati Gracia Bare. We have requested the Department of Social Welfare to immediately find, file a report to the Women's Committee to ensure that the financial support to be to be, to be safe and sound so that the grandmother, a 62-year-old lady, can do justice to taking care of these two minors that have been left behind due to the murder of late Shrimati Gracia Bare. We have also been told that in the case of the Naura children murder, uh, Necessary compensations have already been forwarded to the family and initial one lakh has been paid to the family to ensure that the family will be able legal assistance to take the case up in the days to come. 
We were also concerned for the welfare of the five rescued victims in the incident relating to the rescuing rescuing of five children in West Darwin's Tura from the Rimpu Bagan case. All five children have been rescued, out of which three were between the ages of 17 and 60. One was a child of 15, one was a child of 13, and one was a child of three years old. As far as the Women's Committee is concerned, we are only concerned about the welfare of these children who have been rescued from the case, case at West Garu Hills Tura. We have been given the assurance that all the six children who are in some way or the other linked with this incident are given necessary protection and are also provided with all necessary provisions to ensure that these children continue to live a normal life despite the circumstances which they found themselves at. These were the cases that we took up in the Committee for the Empowerment of Women of the Meghalaya Legislative Assembly today.